Hello, well, this is going to be a weird video. Um, originally, I was going to try and sell this as maybe uh, if you wanted to buy cheap nights for wargaming or get your kids into nights and stuff, but no, I'm just going to sell it as got a bag of nights uh, for Christmas as a stocking filler. I thought we'd look at the excellent quality of them. Um, basically, it's just a bit of a bit of a cheapo have fun looking at stuff video um, in the guise of a review uh, this is Knights and Warriors Jumbo Battle Pack 3 plus yeah it's nothing other than to quote Ashens it's 0-3 sad onions what have we got there uh, I may have to adjust the focus on my camera but let's let's get into it Warning, not suitable for children under 36 months. Yeah, cool. So, uh, this is made by htigroup.co.uk. So, let's have a, uh, have a look into it. Um, it's basically a bag of grey and black plastic. Uh, comes in this. Get quite a lot. But, yeah, I mean, to go back to what I said, maybe you could use this to get your kids into wargaming, you can make your own wargame up huh? you obviously have two sides here um, so what we got here is uh, some cheap stuff, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, adjust my camera angle I feel, this is giving you a quick overview of what's here Let's give it. so yeah basically you have grey knights in different poses uh, black guys and you have Sort of siege engines in black, and you have defendable bunkers and castle bits in grey. So now let me adjust and zoom in. Right, so yeah, we have black and grey. So there's two distinct armies here. Uh, already you can sort of see one has siege weapons, so uh, they're going to be defending. One has the uh, bunkers and castles and turrets and things. So they no. The, Sorry, the black with the CJ is going to be attacking. The stuff with the grey is going to be defending. But let's have a look at the defenders first. Let's go grey. Um, so, oh my goodness. So, okay, I didn't want to start with this one, but we're going to start with this one because here's here's his back. Uh, yeah, he 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 he's tall and thin. And why is he holding? That's just let's just turn him around I don't know what his helmet is about but he looks more like he's doing some sort of interpretive jazz dance maneuver hello I what is that the legs are so spindly and why is he holding he's like, I've come to war with a baton um <sighs> Okay, so the first one, but look at the other thing. Look how emaciated he is. So thin. So thin. Uh, I don't... Just... He looks more... Greek or Roman than medieval, but we've got him. And I think we've got his twin here. Who doesn't look any better? Still doing that weird stance, but we got him. Um, oh, we got a few of him. We got another one. This is good. So three of those. Oh no, we got four. You can never have too many uh, emaciated, very tall, spindly knights in poor armor in your army. Um, yeah. Okay. So now, oh no. Oh blimey! Just when you fall. We couldn't have too many. So we have five of those. Okay, we have five of those. Next up, this is a bit more like it. We have Knight with Bull Club Morning Star without the spikes. But I suppose that would still work. So yeah, he, at least he's in armor, full armor. Uh, but again, really thin, amazing. Look at that. Don't forget he's got armor on, so how thin is his actual chest? So they're in they're made in this bendy toy plastic you'd see if you went to Poundland. I imagine that's where my wife got these for me. I did ask for stuff like this, a cheap bag of knights. Not to do this video, just because I love 
bag of cheap nights really. I'm actually going to have a go at painting these and making my own wacky war game, probably based on that really weird physics computer game, which I forget the life of me what it's called. <coughs> Real combat or something like that, isn't it? Realistic combat. Hopefully you know the one I mean. Realistic warfare. When we had red and blue stuff and you do really weird physics. You got loads of these. Oh, do we have five a piece of these of these each time? I have him. He's cool. Uh, I do actually quite like these there. They're nice. Uh, they're just reminds me of stuff I used to get when I was a kid. Basically got me into fantasy and history when I went to castles and things on sightseeing days. Yep, yeah, five of those. Oh, hello. No, we got six of these. Uh, next up is again that's his brother coming up with the same weapon who's got this uh, grill grate on his chest uh, and some big moon boots again so thin why are you not feeding your army I suppose if these are being besieged they're thin but why would the arm be thin I think that's meant to be chainmail not the great stuff but Yes, yeah, so we have him. Uh, there's actually seems to be uh, three of him. Got him here. Four. No, it's three. Three of him. But we have his brother, who's in a similar pose, but with a uh, back scrubber. Or is that a hand grenade? He's got a hand grenade on a stick. He's very advanced. Uh, this is World of Roses era, as you'll see later on. So they did have gunpowder back then. But yeah, similar pose, different grill on him. He's got this from a different car. That's what this is. This is low rent larpers. Similar pose, similar emaciated pose. That's that. A few of these, I think. I've seen another one somewhere. Uh, yeah, there he is. Another one there. That's it. So we're going to have a massive war game like this later on using these, I think. Have to come up with some sort of weird and wonderful rules. Uh, this, I have no idea. This is a dude, again, chainmail. I think, he's got, I think that's meant to be a crossbow, but if you look, it's it should be like that, I guess. But it's been moulded... So it's sideways, because even if when you do that and put it in the correct position, if you look there, it, it actually twists. So that's the way. So I think this has been sculpted by someone who confused a bow and a crossbow, because he sort of got it holding like a bow, but he's shooting it like a crossbow. And I've just realized, because we've got a second one here in the same pose, this is your first ever holding a range weapon gangster style. And I like you see those things in the movie where they hold the gun instead of that way, they're holding it that way. That's what he's doing with his crossbow. He's like, I bust a bolt in your ass, small foal. Gangster crossbowman. Next up, we have uh, this chap. I think there's only one of these. Just one of these. He's Mr. Axeman. Actually, not a half bad sculpt, really. Uh, I can see that is actually chainmail. Um, what's weird is, yeah, I think these are, I say it's Ward of Roses, but I think it's just stuff from throughout history, because that does look Greek-Roman, I think mean, your knights here look like Ward of Roses era knights, but he looks like from Norman uh, Anglo-Saxon times. That could be an Anglo-Saxon warrior, that chainmail, the conical helmet. The axe, shield. I think these are just warriors throughout time. So that's good. There's only one of those though. Quite disappointing that. Uh, but next up we have again same sort of era of knight with the chain full body chain mail, conical hat, tabard on rather than plate mail. But he has um Well he's got confused. He's just trying to play a game of snooker. No. Um, because he's come armed with some sort of Q-tip thing. Not good for war, mate. Not good for war. But 
there's loads of them. So we have like a whole pub pool team. And this is the uh, Norman Awareness uh, pool team. Down, uh, they play in the Nags Head, just outside the castle. And they're just pl trying to play pool and they're getting besieged. So that's good for them. Uh, last up in the uh, grey team uh, models, we have both of these. These are your standard bearers. Uh, these are looking like a cross between Ward of Roses men at arms and uh, again Norman Anglo-Saxon. But they've got standard bearers. They're quite quite nice. Just standing there. It's been nifty. But the greys who are defending have this bunker. Uh, castle wall section. I don't know. Uh, it's it's a bit. Uh, um, it top comes off a bit, but they can't stand up in there, so there won't be enough room. But they can sort of. In you go. There you go. You live there. Your plan. Put. Oh, I've got it. I know who goes in here now and why they're holding their bows to the side. It's because they're shooting, laying down. Oh, it all makes perfect sense. Look, go and get get your bow through the crenellation there. There you go. He's laying down and now he's aiming. Oh, he's a tactical genius. Uh, so yeah, there's this. I don't know what it's meant to be really other than a bit of castle wall section. Uh, it's too small for him to go in. Is it meant to be a small bunker? But likewise, we have this. Actually, it comes off as well. Uh, so I guess they could, the bowmen could try and poke their little bows out there. Like so, and you put them in there. I guess that's what it's trying to represent. Um, not seeing anything like it. And then this, which I can't clip together, so it's going to require me to glue it if I could be bothered. I don't know if I can because it's plastic is so so flexible it just pops out it's almost like rubber but anyway you got this watchtower which would be impressive if you were 10 mil in it but you can't no, no one can fit up there and do the watching so but anyway it's representative of what it is and that's the greys I'm assuming they're the good guys because they're defending and the blacks on the other hand are quite similar in models uh, we'll just quickly go over you got this guy we've all seen him we got him uh yeah let's get rid of all the doubles we can got that one again you got his, obviously you got the mate with the hand grenade there we've got loads of those uh we've got the banner bearer we have the roman Greek type dude. Uh, yeah, it's in those, it's in those. We have the crossbowman also firing gangster style. Got those, of course we do. Uh, yeah, now these actually have a few. I have the. Uh, is that a different axeman actually? Where's my axeman from Grey's? No, so we have, yeah, same axeman. Just a. That's what I'm saying. I have one of those. But these also have. This one, do we have? Do we have this? Oh no, we have seen this one. Yeah, there he is. I thought it has different pose, which it doesn't. We're fine. Roman, 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 Roman. Yes. So they have their own snooker player. Uh, this is because uh, they're in black. They're from the Black Bull's Head, uh, which is a rival pub just down the road. The pool team are renowned for having punch ups after the games between the rival pubs, uh, and I think that's how this whole siege started. Um, Axman again, Axman, Axman. Now this dude, I believe, is new. We didn't see him before. He is pointing his inflatable sword, um, which is weird. But I was got you know, he's got. They do have sculpted detail on the shield, so that's that's nice. Uh, yeah, and we have this dude here, which I believe is new as well. He has, he's come armed with a really small sword. Again, he looks Norman, Anglo-Saxon era. That's cool. Um, and what I was hoping to see, 
and it's the first time I looked at him out, just this guy, is I thought, because what I'm going to show you next, but it's not, there isn't any, apparently. So, oh yes there is, there is, we found one. One, uh, there should be another one hopefully, if not this is going to be awkward, uh, I think there is only one. Uh, yep, yep, I'll show you in a minute, I promise, it will all make sense. Uh, yeah, there is only one. So uh, we have here is this chap. He's definitely going to be a Norman Knight, being he's well mounted. That's why he's in this position. He hasn't just crapped himself, and he's like, oh god. <laughs> nope. We have a horsey horse. There we go. Does it stand up? No, don't worry, we have another horsey horse. That stands up. So he's going on this one. Yay! Mounted Knight. Excellent. So does it stand up with the mount on? Yes. Now, of course, this, what you may have noticed and what I was searching for, is there is only one knight that can mount it, which is a good job because this horse is dead. This is a dead horse. We've lost a horse. It was sad times. But yeah, so I don't know who brings cavalry to a siege, but Black Boar's head did. And we also have these things, which aren't rocks, massive rubbles of coal. They have flags. So we have a red flag and a black flag. Now I'm assuming this is actually a flag a piece because you can play capture the flag in some sort of rules you make them up. So uh, even though the base is both black, I'm assuming that's just team gray is going to be that have that yellow one. Team black is going to have this. Now next up is uh, hey, guess what I found? I found the other night he was hidden under the siege weapons. Yeah, whoa, whoa, that is some serious faceage. Um, he's got a feather in his cap and the weediest uh, morning star, or mace, I guess. It's a mace, isn't it, without the chain of all time. Uh, sorry, mate, I wonder if, if he's if it, with him on the horse, whether, get okay, oh, Balances it. Oh, oh. Nope, he's dead. Now next up. They have, when our wheels has come off. Let's quickly poke this back on. I said the uh, bishop to the vicar. Um, we have this catapult, which is great because if you bend it like this, it actually flicks up. Now this is very important, but also actually even better. I've just seen you have this here that you can now, this is very important because with it if I can get it out I said the uh, nun to the bishop um, are these you have cannonballs which is amazing let's, let's rip one off and they're crudely made cannonballs but they would be flat around uh, so we have this and and we lose it on the floor. It's fine, I found it. Yeah, that works really well, actually. That's quite fun. So remember, what was it, Battlemasters? Was it a Games Workshop game and MB games in the 90s, early 90s called Battlemasters? It kind of reminds me of that in a weird way, but it gets better because they have another Siege engine. Yeah, so Grey's had weird ass bunkers that are too small for anyone. They didn't think that through, did they? They were probably drunk after the pool match. We have catapults that are just going to smash through that. But, oh yes, we have a cannon. But not only that, it's going to be a working cannon. So we're going to chop the ball in. We're going to chop that ball in. I push back. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, that shot out. Um, I've lost it now. 
I shall find that in a minute. I'm going to do that again. Another ball. Good job I've got loads of balls. All right. That is amazing. That's, that just for that one didn't come out as well. Oh, I need that other ball. That's going to be the Destructo ball. Yay! That actually fires really well. Mm, sorry about that. Camera worked funny, but yeah. In the meantime, retrieved uh, both balls. That is awesome. That is staggeringly awesome, uh, this little can. So yeah, um, that is the uh, bag of cheap knives. I mean, they are cheap. This is the uh, pound shop quality stuff, uh, but a bit of fun. You could actually sort of have a simple quick war game, perhaps with, if you've got young kids and you're not worried about models getting broken, but you want to introduce them to war games. Come up with a set of rules. I've got two actual sides here. For a few quid and you can have a bit of fun with that cannon uh, of course it's a bit boring for the defenders they've got nothing like one i mean they had a blacks have got a catapult and a uh, bloody cannon i mean you could i guess separate it out and so each have got one each and some stuff and then you just paint it uh but yeah that's when we adjust the camera seems a bit high isn't it? Ooh. right next up because uh, the bag of uh, junk doesn't end there. We've got... Dubo! Knights and Dragons. Again, this is just a tube of models. Uh, I don't really see a catapult in there. Uh, this is by Safari Limited. These are normally ones that do animals and stuff in a tube. If you go to a zoo or something likewise. SeaWorld, you'd get a tube full of animals and fishes. Uh, but in this one, it's knights and dragons. Plural. Lots of knights, lots of dragons. I'm going to this little tube. Inside, we've got exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, oh, maybe not quite, but we'll get to that. You may have already spotted this already. <coughs> Couple, come on out. There we go. So... Uh, well, you can see we've got two teams again, really. We have the reds and the blues. These are in a different style, of course. Um, hold on, I need to adjust the zoom. I'm doing well on this video. Hold on. And now you're wishing I hadn't. Look at that. I know this isn't too bad. Um, he's in this jaunty kind of style. I know. At first I thought he was meant to ride one of the horses, you've probably seen the horses here, but no. Oh, I suppose he could, yeah, with his bent sword, but but then who is this chap who definitely looks like he is riding? I think he's just in a jaunty style. Bretonian, you are not. Uh, so I think, does he stand up? He does stand up, so I think he is meant to be... A standing up night just in this really serious come at me bro pose uh, so now we'll put you there mr. red uh, okay we have two horses here so we get do the horses first we have this one here who's just sauntering along I mean oh, there's not much detail here. this is all very basic but it is kids so what do you expect this is just for a bit of fun so we have this here he's in a nice saunter pose and in this one, he's in rearing up pose, and the only way you can get him to rear up is by resting him on his tail. But he does rear up because very handily they put a big little bit of a, a base on him. So actually better than some war game companies that have this sort of pose of horse that then have a really weak ankle. I'm looking at U Games Workshop. So he stands up like that, which is cool. So uh, I think we're gonna give rearing up to blue and he because he looks in a very non-action just sitting there riding along i quite like that and there is a nice fair amount of detail i'm assuming he's the king because he's got a bit of a crown on so or duke or whatever so he goes on his horse there he goes so he's gonna he's gonna get next stand next to come at me bro and with him is an axe murderer who who has bleached his moustache so it's or put flesh paint on it so it's the same colour as his skin we don't know why perhaps it was the fashion in this particular castle 
But yeah, he's got scale mail on. Again, nice little thing on the base, they should stand up. Yeah. Right, and then we have the banner bearer. Um, what's weird here, if you know anything about your medieval history, um, you'll see these are in red, which are traditionally England, or British, England really, I guess. Knights, I'm trying to think medieval times, but England, but it has the French fleur de lis, so that's interesting. But anyway, this guy's helmet is sort of up, but his helmet's really weird. The visor, it looks like it's down below, and this horn, which you'd think would be part of the visor, isn't. It's just a horn not attached to his visor, so that's interesting. Um, at least it's painted on the black. A lot of these cheap Chinese sort of toys aren't painted on the back, so he's painted on the back, so he's going to go there. He doesn't stand up as well. So that is Team Team Red. Um, the awkward thing in, is here is uh, Team Blue is a man down, as you can see here. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll have a look. Yeah, then, then we see the instant problem here um, because we have Horse Rider here with Banner and look at those Funko Pop dead eyes. Oh my goodness, and it looks like his face is melting into his helmet. He is terrifying. Team Blue, which is traditionally France, but we'll get to this in a minute. We've already seen that the fleur de lis is on red. That should be on blue. As here, so this is sort of, I don't know, it looks like 80 gothic y type German, German armor. I don't know. Sort of that got that fluting that. Was big in German, I think it's German, it's either German or Italian type armor, I would say. Someone who will know. But anyway, he is the actual horse, so he's going to go on here on the Reary Up horse. Now, the reason I chose the Reary Up horse is because I didn't realize this was the horse rider, and again, it's not very dramatic, is it? Let's just put you here because I'm going to. You know, he doesn't stand up, he's definitely a horse rider because I thought this was the horse rider because it looks like he's holding a lance and he's got sort of the crest on I'm imagining this is a duke rather than this is king invading this is a duke invading the king but it's, it's cool I love helmets like this uh, very Bretonian um, but I don't think this is a lance now this is a big saw sword look at that big serrated sword and he's in the same jaunty pose as this one here. They both come at me, bro, knights. Come at me, bro. No, you come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. No, you come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. No, you come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Um, yeah, I'm having fun. <laughs> yeah, so originally I thought he was going to sit on this and it'd be all very dramatic because he's got the helmet, he's got the lance, but no. He, oh no, the banner bearer is dead for the English French. So he's just come at me, bro. Uh, come at me, bro. Stand up. Oh, he's bent backwards. No, he's dead. And we'll have Reary Up Horse in non dramatic pose because here's the banner bearer. He has a cape, so he's the most. But again, French blue should have Fleur de Lee. No, we've got St. George Cross. That should be white on the red for England. But again, look at that Funko Pop dead eyes. I'm coming to get you in your sleep. Oh my goodness. That's terrifying. It's just a hole. I'm assuming he's got an arrow shot in his head. Does he stand up? He stands up. Oh, hang on. Oh. Oh no, no, I see it. No, he, at first I thought he was a horse rider because he's in that horse riding legs akimbo pose, but he's got a cape. He's not going to fit on a horse. No, so he's got a. Oh. So he's just got to stand up in this weird kind of I've been riding for days. Pose. So you stand there. You kind of balance on there, pretending to stand up. You're drunk. So then we've got the reds and the blues. We've got two models left. We have the catapult, 
which I think I'm going to give to the Reds. Uh, no, Blues. Give it to the Blues. I don't know, so I'm confused. I'm English. I want to support the English, but they're kind of both French and both English. We have French colour with an English type flag and English colour with a French type flag. So we're just going to put the catapult in the middle. Now, this isn't as good as the last set. It doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. It's just moulded in. I suppose you, where it's bent with plastic, you could put something in there and flick it. Oh, no, maybe not. It doesn't look very good. No. <laughs> <sighs> no worst catapult ever and we have the very uh blingy the bling dragon he is a green dragon who is blingtastic look how shiny that is but he's very teeny he's smaller than the men so he's gonna go on red and he does stand up he's gonna go on team red because he doesn't like team blue they got a catapult um it's an alright dragon now there is one thing here, this set is called Knights and Dragons, plural, Chevaliers et Dragons. Um, I've got one dragon, that's not plural. You're rubbish Safari Limited, where's my dragons? I only have one. But phew, it's a bit of fun. How what is this for? Not three sad onions. Yep, not three sad onions. To quote Ashens again, uh, the lead free, which is nice. Uh, sans plom, sin plomo, eleven pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven with the horses. So yep, there isn't a case. I've got a dragon missing. It is. You just get one dragon. So it's knight and dragon. Well, here we go. Here's, here's a little factoid. Did you know medieval knights wore armour to protect, to protect themselves in battle? No, I thought they wore it to go swimming. Sometimes even their horses wore protective armour and elegant robes. Uh, yes, I suppose this one's got armour and an elegant robe on. Uh, I don't think the horses refer to it as a robe. Um, and it's not the Hugh Hefner of the horses. But that's... That's... Uh, well, anyhow, these come from uh, Miami in Florida, USA. These are well travelled. There you go. Have a look at that. 2006 as well. Uh, that is a look at some cheap knights that you can get, you can have fun with. I'm actually uh, getting that. Um, the, uh, the bag of knights, I think I'm actually going to do something with. These I might just put around in my sort of bookcase library area just on shelves around the books I quite like them they're quite cute in their own weird way uh, Team Red just did not have the Funko Pop eyes I mean his eyeball is sort of melting down his face here my eye my face but at least it isn't the Funko Pop dead ones the Team Blue look like it's possessed so anyway that's a cheap look the cheap look, that wasn't the cheap, well I suppose it was cheap, it was free, yeah, it was a look at some cheap knights and dragons, I had fun, I hope you did, until next time, take care.